Somebody DM me on Instagram and they told me about this new free software called Audio Gritter. What Audio Gritter does is essentially allows you to use a second computer as a server to load plugins on. If you're running into an issue in Ableton, FL, Logic, Pro Tools, where plugins are causing your CPU to spike too high or crash or go crazy, one thing you might want to try is setting up a server. When you set up a server, this program called Audio Gritter allows you to load plugins through this Audio Gritter software from your second computer through the network. And apparently it has very low latency and it's really easy to use. So I wanna show you guys this. I wanna see if any of you guys have tried this. I have not tried it yet, but I watched some videos on YouTube explaining it and it looks game changing. I have seen other services that do plugins that allow you to stream through a network or through you know, some kind of external place that has this gear and all this stuff. But Audio Gritter lets you do it from your own computer. This is pretty nuts. I wanna see what you guys think about this. So this is the website, it's audiogritter.com. It's free, so if you have like Mac Mini or you know some kind of old Mac Pro lying around, you can use it as a server to store a bunch of plugins. So that way when you load it on your production computer, it won't use up DSP. So it says Audio Gritter is a network bridge for audio and MIDI that allows for offloading the DSP processing of audio plugins to remote computers. This can come in handy when mixing complex projects or running CPU intensive instruments. What is Audio Gritter? Server, plugin, and it's open source. So this explains how it works, the compatibility, what you need. Right now it appears like this is Mac OS only. There's a demo on the site so you guys can check that out. It's a plugin that you load up in your DAW that allows you to offload DSP. And it's free. I would like to see you guys try it and let me know what you think. If any of you guys have an extra computer laying around and you can try it, do it and record a video. I'd like to see how it's working for you. Right now, I don't have an extra server that's set up, but I'd be curious to see if any of you guys are interested in that, how it works out. <laughs> Blackjack said, if you're telling me there's a free alternative to an Apollo twin, yeah, as long as you have a second computer, it kind of would be that.